Hi, how are you? So I was just hanging out here in my new rad studio, which I'm totally loving by the way, and thought I'd just whack up a video to tell you a little bit about a strategy that I came up with the other day. I was kind of just pondering on how I create good Facebook campaigns that tend to connect with people straight away. Um, and in fact, how I've kind of built this entire business um, based on a very similar strategy. So it's kind of, it's a strategy that you can use for very broad ideas or bringing them, you know, like such as starting a business or bring it right down to the level of just a Facebook ad campaign. Um, or if you're gonna sit there and write a blog, um, you know, you can you can apply it to that or if you're going to go speak at an event you can apply it for that to, to that too so it's called my amplification strategy so the idea is that you're amplifying your voice you're getting your message out there and gathering your tribe together that's going to follow you support you and become an evangelist for you and everything that you stand for so that's why it's called an amplification strategy um, the there's three main parts of the amplification strategy there's the why the good and the media. So let me tell you, break that down a little bit further for you. So the why. The why is like Simon Sinek says, the, the, you know, leaders, uh, pe people that follow, people that are followed, therefore leaders, start with why. So we really want to know in the why what you stand for, why you're doing it, why the person that you want to follow you in, you know, that person in your tribe, the person to connect with your blog, the person to connect with that Facebook ad, why they would be interested in it. Um, most people kind of um, omit this part and they go straight into talking about the pro their product or service. And I have to say, in Facebook land, Facebook just loves it when you only talk about the product or service. How many ads have you had bomb dive and fail um, and get rejected by Facebook just because you haven't talked it? They say to you, we prefer it if you talk about your product or service. Well, guess what? That's boring. No one ever wants to hear about your product or service. They are sitting there with their own pains, their own problems, and they want to know why you are the solution to their problems, why they should listen to you, why are you the expert? That's what they want to know, why. So start with why, just like Simon said, Simon says, um, and then go into the good. So what good is it going to be for them? What good is it going to be for you? I mean, hold what good it is going to be for you in, in your heart, obviously, but the good for them, that's what they want to hear. Um, they want to know how it connects to them, how it serves them, how it solves their problems, what good is it going to create in their life, and really paint that picture for them. Uh, then we want to go into what media we're going to use to get that message out there. Now, it's different, different strokes for different folks. So many of my people, uh, mostly my done for you clients actually in my, um, my agency, Get Traffic Ready, come to me and say, oh look, my people aren't on Facebook because I'm in corporate and I'm like, oh God, you're so boring. Um, they are, they are on Facebook because we're in Australia, there's 25 million people, how many and about 18 million of them have Facebook profiles. In fact, it's probably more than that now. That was last time I checked about a year ago. So um, truth is they are on Facebook. It's just the purpose of what you're using it for. So Facebook is a very social platform. There, if you're in your 60s, you're on Facebook because you want to know what your grandchildren are up to. If you're on Facebook when you're in your 30s, it's because you want to connect with other mothers or other women going to yoga or Pilates or whatever or spy on your friends or diss out that chick that bullied you at school. I don't know, whatever the reason. It's a social platform, right? LinkedIn, a more professional platform. So of course, tailor your why and your good to the platform that you're gonna be putting it out on. Twitter, um, Instagram, you know, Instagram is very photo based. So you wanna be kind of putting, uh, you know, beautiful shots out there that are communicating exactly what your, your big why is and what good it's gonna do, but you know, tell that story through images. So really consider the platform, um, the media that you're gonna be using to get your message out there. But start with why and bring in the good um, and amplify the bejesus out of your message and in no time you will have uh, a tribe of people following exactly what you're about. So I'm just going to continue to hang out in my awesome office and I'll catch you on another video sometime. If you want to hook up with me, check me out on Facebook. If you're not already here watching this right now, uh, Digital Traffic Chick Facebook. All right, see you there. Bye.